ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونستهديه ونعوذ بالله تعالى من شرور انفسنا وسيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلله فلا هادي له ونشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له شهادة من يرج بها النجاة يوم القيامة ونشهد ان سيدنا ونبينا وحبيبنا محمد عبده ورسوله وصفيه من خلقه وحبيبه ادى الامانه وبلغ الرساله ونصح الامه وكشف الله به الغم وجاهد في الله حق جهاده حتى اتاه اليقين اما بعد السلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته ويلكم تو رمضان الخير ان ذيس رمضان دي نمبر 22 الحمد لله وي هاف جون سو فا ثرو فاستنج اند وي اسك الله سبحانه وتعالى تو اكسبت اور فاستنج بوت ايفر good deeds we have done from the first day of ramadan till today may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept those deeds inshallah and today inshallah we'll be speaking about you know focusing on the hereafter to choose the hereafter over the dunya now allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says bal tu'thirun al-hayat ad-dunya you prefer the life the life of this world now the worldly life wal akhiratu khairun wa abqa wal akhira the here after is better and is forever and ever now sometimes we live in this dunya and we forget that we are going to um uh, separate ourselves we are going to die we are going to leave this dunya and whatever we possess now we will leave everything behind and go back where we came from we came from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and when we die we go back to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but the main thing is to prepare ourselves you know to prepare our provisions that we can take with for us to meet allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and if we do that we do prepare ourselves for akhirah then we will have the love of meeting allah subhanahu wa ta'ala rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said man ahabba liqa allah ahabba allah liqa'ah again man ahabba liqa allah the person who loves the meeting with allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Now, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves to meet that person. If you know that you love, you love to meet, you know, um, uh, uh, the president of the country, uh, you know, and you also know that he loves to meet with you, you become very much happy. So also, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala becomes very much happy when he knows or he sees that this person loves to meet me. So if you love to meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves to meet you. Now, death is inevitable. We cannot dodge, we cannot escape from death. Each and every one will have to go through death to akhirah, to, to reach akhirah. So before Malakul Maut comes, we should prepare ourselves. We are now in the month of, of Ramadan. It is an opportunity that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is giving to us to prepare ourselves inshallah spiritually bringing those good deeds that pleases Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala now Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks about few people who denies that uh, they deny akhirah they deny the meeting with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the Quraysh also used to do the same thing now even today you find people who do not believe that there will be a day of judgment they do not believe that one day they will be standing in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and be accountable and give account of their deeds whatever they have done in the dunya Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says regarding the people who deny waqalu in hiya illa hayatuna dunya they say it is only uh, our lives we only live in this dunya now It is only one life. They say it's only, you know, one, we live in dunya and once we die, we, 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 that's all. It ends day. Uh, what do they say? Now, in here, illa hayatuna dunya namutu wa nahya. They say we, we live and we die. So what? Now, wa ma yuhlikuna illa dahr. And only time will destroy us. They say only time will destroy us. Now, وَمَا لَهُمْ بِذَلِكَ مِنْ عِلْمٍ إِنْ هُمْ إِلَّا يَظُنُّونَ They do not have any clear knowledge regarding akhirah. They do not know what will happen to them. They do not know what happens after, after death. 
You know, if a person dies without Iman, they do not know that how, you know, uh, 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 the, uh, death becomes so painful. The angels come and they just snatch away his soul. And that's uh, such, such a pain. The person goes through th such a pain that he never felt before in his life. Now, so the only guessing, uh, so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَاتَّقُوا يَوْمًا تُرْجَعُونَ فِيهِ إِلَى اللَّهِ Fear the day in which you shall return to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now, the day of Qiyamah. Uh, imagine the day of Qiyamah, such a day in which uh, people will be, it's going to be a chaos. People will be so afraid because the conditions on that day will be very bad that, uh, you know, mountains will be flying like curtains. Uh, pe uh, people, family members will be running away from each other. So are we prepared for, our, for that day? And also before the day of Qiyamah, are we prepared for Malakul Maut, the angel of death that will come to each and every one of us? Some of us has lost parents, has, has, have lost, you know, family members, those close to us. Some of us has lost our friends. Now, that should, we should take that as a lesson. Uh, we uh, hear or we read messages about funerals every day so-and-so has passed away. Now, a day will come where a message will be circulating and going around, you know, and in, in that message, your name will be mentioned. Muhammad has passed away, you know, uh, Hassan has passed away. Uh, so your name will be mentioned. So we need to prepare ourselves for the day uh, our souls will leave uh, our bodies. نعم واتقوا يوما ترجعون فيه الى الله ثم توفى كل نفس ما كسبت وهم لا يظلمون نعم and each and every person will be given the reward of that which he has accomplished that which he has done in this dunya without any you know oppression نعم الله سبحانه وتعالى so just uh, he will give to you what you deserve what you have worked for نعم uh, he will not give you less uh, but he can even give you more subhanallah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala multiplies the rewards of a person. The person who does good deeds, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala multiplies his rewards. We are here in this dunya to prepare for akhirah. The reason why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has brought us to this world, he has brought us to this world to worship him. He has brought us to this, to, to this world to prepare for the day we shall go back to him. He has brought us to this dunya, to this world, in order for us to prepare for the day we shall meet with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now, and if you have done well, my dear brother, my dear sister, if you have done well in this dunya, comes Qiyamah, you will receive the book, your book of good deeds with your right hand. Now, you will receive the book of good deeds with your right hand. نعم فأما من أوتي كتابه بيمينه الله سبحانه وتعالى mentions this in the Holy Quran. Now you are fasting now in Ramadan. You are giving sadaqa. Now you are reciting the Quran. All these good deeds. Insha Allah, Allah سبحانه وتعالى will make it such that when you come on the day of Qiyamah, you shall receive the book of your good deeds in your right hand. فأما من أوتي كتابه بيمينه as for him who will be given his book or his records in his right hand. Out of happiness, he will want everybody to read his report, to read his, his, his book. Now, imagine when you pass your exams, uh, when you have received your diploma, your degree, or you come back with your certificate, you want the entire world to know about it. And you want the entire world to see what you have achieved uh, through your hard working, subhanallah. Now, similarly on the day of Qiyamah, you will want the whole world to see that you have done well. You have passed, now you have got a passport for you to travel. You have got a ticket for you to enter into Jannah. فَيَقُولْ هَا أُمُقْرَأُ كِتَابِيَةِ إِنِّي ظَنَنْتُ أَنِّي مُلَاقٍ حِسَابِيَةِ I was sure that I will meet my account. He will be in a life full of bliss and happiness. Allahu Akbar. You will be so happy. Wallahi, you will be very happy. Nam, for no, just to come to know that you have made it. You have crossed the Sirat. Now you are in front of the gates of Jannah. Nam, inni dhanantu. 
أني ملاق حسابي فهو في عيشة راضية في جنة عالية you'll be in high gardens beautiful gardens قطوفها دانية and the fruits of those gardens إن شاء الله will be so close to you الله سبحانه وتعالى will say كلوا وشربوا هنيئا بما أسلفتم في الأيام الخالية eat and drink enjoy yourselves نام in exchange of the life that you have followed in the dunya the life you lived in the dunya which was a life that pleased Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now, then be given from the fruits of Jannah, the food of Jannah. Whatever your heart will desire, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give it to you because you have uh, chosen, you know, through the rahmah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the path that pleased Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It is Ramadan al-Khair, all goodness in the month of Ramadan, and it is also the name of our program, uh, uh, Ramadan al-Khair. So, uh, it's a month in which we need to come back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We need to make tawbah. We need to ask for forgiveness. We need to show mercy upon those who are, that we are dealing with. We need to uh, uh, please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept our fasting. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive our sins. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give us ikhlas, sincerity in whatever we do, that we do only for his sake and for his pleasure. We have come to the end of our program. I leave you all with a beautiful greeting of peace. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.